up for sale now vehicle max we have a beautiful 2009 cadillac escalade short wheel base two wheel drive short wheel base just means that it's not the esv it's not the long one pearl white on the outside with tan leather interior completely loaded up with factory navigation color backup camera factory power moonroof and dvd 22 inch chrome wheels power tailgate heated seats cool seats parking sensors and a number of other options that i'll get into in just a minute it has a clean title and also qualifies for Carfax's buyback guarantee as well as for an extended warranty. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an a rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. I've got the vehicle running right now, just so I can show you a DVD player and, um, and a few of the other features. Uh, this vehicle also has remote start. You can, play the, uh, navi um, you can play DVDs also on the navigation screen as long as the vehicle is in park and as you can see it's playing the same movie as is on the uh, roof mounted unit. Let me go ahead and get inside of it now. The door panels are beige with the wood trimming. Of course we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tilt wheel, got uh, memory seats for up to two drivers, we got dual power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area now so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. As a matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headlining, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been an outsmoker. smoker. You got curtain side airbags on the front post, the middle post, and there's another one on this post over here. All right, uh, you got a power tilt wheel. Automatic headlights that come on the sunset and come off the sunrise. Let's go ahead and uh, get inside now. So I got the movie playing right now. All right, we're gonna lower the volume on that for now, and let's go ahead and um, open the moonroof. Uh, it is a glass moonroof. It is tinted, but also has this hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for uh, the duration of the video, so we can get a little bit of lighting for the video. All right. You also got um, up here this uh, this switch here is uh, to slide the sunroof back. This one here is just to vent it, and this is for your power tailgate. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. You can open the power tailgate by using the remote control, by uh, pressing the switch that I just pressed right now, or by simply squeezing the tailgate handle as long as the vehicle is unlocked. Okay. All right, let's go up here now. Now you got two more switches over here. These are for the middle row tumbling bucket seats, and I'll show you how that works. I'm gonna go ahead and just tumble one of them right now. This is to gain access to the third row seat. Although the little ones usually just walk in between, for the adults it's more comfortable to uh, go ahead and now uh, tumble the bucket seats forward. Let's put on the AC here. We got dual climate control right now. I got the driver's side of 70 while the passenger side of 62. And all that really does is that makes the AC vents on this side of the vehicle blow at 62, while this one here and this one here will blow at 70 or whatever it is you set it to. Put them both down at maximum. Okay, while we're here, uh, let me show you the uh, cooling and heated seat option. This one here is to heat the entire seat. This one only the backrest. This one here is for the cooling of the seat. When you turn it on, it goes automatically to high. If you press it again, it goes to medium one more time to low and one more time to off and this one here does the exact same action except they're obviously for heating um, down here you got your um, power pedal option this feature allows you to move the pedals uh, about four or five inches away from you or towards you which comes in really handy when you have a very tall driver or a very short driver let's go ahead and put the navigation here so you can see it on the screen now once I put the navigation here the rear row passenger is still watching the movie on the, on the roof mounted unit okay Let's tilt this down here. Okay, the vehicle has 73,906 miles. To the uh, on the bottom of the odometer reading, to the left hand side is the outside temperature. To the right hand side is the uh, a compass. It lets us know that we're pointing, heading in each direction. 
and below right in the center is the miles per hour clearly it's zero now because we're not moving let's go ahead and uh, rev the engine a minute all right 6.2 liter v8 and the reason i'm doing that is just so you can see that the car's running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on no airbag light no service engine zoom no maintenance zoom nothing like that the only light that you have there is uh, the green light which is general motors daytime driving lights all right um you got over here let's go ahead and put on the stereo here all right Okay, you can raise or lower the volume right to here. Lower it here. Okay, you can mute it right here. Okay, these buttons here are to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set here yourself, which of course can be changed. Okay, this one here is your seek button, takes it to the next available station. This one here is your source button, helps you navigate from AM to FM to XM, and yes, it does have XM capability. Although right now it's on preview mode because you have to sign up for a subscription by going to the website or calling that phone number. Um, and then on this one over here, once you pair your phone to the Bluetooth, when the phone rings, you pick it up over here and you hang it up over here. Over here, uh, when you're not using the Bluetooth, you can press and hold that for your voice commands. You got um, a heated wheel steering option, heated steering wheel, and cruise control on the left hand side here. Uh, let's see here, what else? Okay. You get an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor that senses bright light. So if somebody puts their high beams on you, it darkens the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. This vehicle is equipped with the OnStar system and let me tell you what OnStar does for you. By the way, if you purchase this vehicle from us, you will get a 90 day free trial with the OnStar at no cost to you. If you get into a car accident and any of the airbags deploy, including the side airbags, it will send an immediate signal to the OnStar center to let them know you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you to the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Also, if you um, if you happen to leave your keys inside your car, you can um, you can call the 24-hour number they provide you with, identify yourself. Once they know it's you, they can send an immediate signal to the car to get it open, which will save you a bunch of time and money having to wait for a locksmith and having to pay a locksmith. The two front windows, by the way, are... Oh, let me continue on the OnStar, I'm sorry. Um, let me tell you some of the other things that OnStar does for you. If you have any kind of emergency, press the red OnStar button. The OnStar Center will come on and assist you with that emergency. If your check engine light comes on, press the blue, press the blue button. The OnStar Center can come on and diagnose your vehicle remotely and tell you how to proceed to take care of it. Also, if you're lost in any directions, press the blue OnStar button. It'll give you turn-by-turn -turn directions until you arrive at your destination. They also have concierge service and roadside assistance. For more details, visit OnStar.com. Up in the top here, you got your home link or universal garage door opener where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. Uh, the two front windows are automatic and what that means is one touch, you don't have to hold the switch when the windows to go down. Uh, they also have turn signal. And uh, next to the turn signal, it's a little hard to see here, but you'll see a little car there, the two cars. That is your uh, blind zone spot alert. It means if uh, you're driving and you're if there's somebody in your blind spot, that's going to light up in yellow, so you'll let you know you're in that lane. It's not available for you to move in. Okay, at the end of the shifter lever, you your towing haul mode. You press that, and a little yellow wagon comes on uh, to let you know you're in towing haul mode, which disables the overdrive and adjusts, uh, makes the transmission shift a little differently in order to adjust for the extra cargo load. To turn it off, just press it again. On the shifter lever itself, you also got a plus and minus. That is for your manual shifting uh, option. I'll show you how that goes. Put the car in reverse. By the way, when you go in reverse, you get your color rear camera, which along with the parking sensors, to help you avoid any accidents when backing up. Okay, neutral, drive, and if you go down one more notch to them, you'll see a one comes there and tells you your manual shift one. If you tap on the plus, it's gonna shift up all the way up to six, as it says say six speed automatic transmission, and if you tap on the minus, it shifts down. Every time you tap it, it moves one gear. Okay, clearly nothing's happening because we're not moving, but if we were, you'd be controlling the, mani the shifting of the transmission. If that doesn't interest you, just push the, um, the lever back up to D and the six-speed automatic transmission will do the shifting for you. Uh, this here is to disable your traction control. This one here is to disable your parking sensors. Over here, you get your onboard computer, trip settings, and personal um, uh, options as well as systems checks. This is your uh, ashtray over here. Uh, this one here is, uh, let's just leave that open for now. And this is your cup holder, okay? Uh, you got um, you got a storage down here, and you got a uh, cigarette lighter there, adapter there for your chargers. Your main glove box is over here, okay? 
and uh, let me see what else. Let's go ahead and pan over the passenger seating area now so you can see that it's in perfect shape without any cuts, tears, or burn holes. And then we'll go ahead and uh, move on to the uh, middle row section of the vehicle. So go ahead and close this up here. All right, um, uh, I think we're done up here. Again, I've tried to cover as much as I can, but if I miss something, please call me at 305 218 5462. I can go over it and uh, answer any questions you may have. Okay. So you got uh, buckets in the front, buckets in the center, that's a total of four, and a full bench in the rear for a total of seven passengers. The rear door panels are the same as the front, beige with the wood trimming. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection, I'll show you how it works. Stick your key in there, or a screwdriver, and give it half a twist to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handles can open the door is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, give it a half a twist to the right, and this handle will start working again. In the back of the center console, the middle row passengers, by the way, the middle row bucket seats are also heated. You can turn on the heat right here in the corners. They can control the fan speed, where the AC flows, the temperature. They also have volume control, tuning control. They can uh, turn on the stereo and turn it off, seek forward, seek backwards. They can change the source, which is your AM, FM, XM, and so on, DVD, and the programming, which is your preset stations. They also have a video input here, so if you can power it through a cigarette lighter adapter, you can watch it up here. And this pops open into a cup holder. Uh, by the way, if you want to tumble the seats, you don't have to go up to the front. There's a switch here on the side that so does this exact same action over here. Up in the top here, you got AC vents for the middle row passengers, integrated map lights onto the DVD, another set of um, vents back here, as well as another set of map lights. And uh, I think we're ready to move on to the back. By the way, all the uh, tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. It's a flex fuel capable, meaning you can put that E85 flex fuel. Um, uh, you can put that E85 uh, flex fuel. That costs about 30 cents less per gallon, but it doesn't mean you have to. You can put um, you can put um, regular unleaded or premium unleaded. Okay, you got a rear wiper, rear window defroster, right rear tail light, perfect shape. Parking sensors in the rear bumper. There's two on each side. Okay, behind this beauty cover that is right now because we're not towing. Uh, is your class 3 heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection, they're ready to go. To remove it, just got a plastic wig nut here, another plastic wig nut over here. Give it a half a twist to the left, uh, and then you can remove this and go into towing mode. Well, while you're not using it, it looks really sharp to have that there to cover up the uh, hardware. All right, let's come around to the passenger side. Oh, by the way, let's go ahead and open up back here. Let me show you really quick here. As you can see, all I got to do is squeeze the tailgate handle. Okay. Back here we got a 50-50 bench seat, and the seats have several actions you could take. If you pull up in this handle here, the backrest will flip forward, uh, will flip down, and you can put stuff on top of it. Once you pull this down, you can pull up on this handle here, and then the seat will actually lift from the back like this, and stay right up to the back of the center row seat, so you go into cargo mode. But you can also remove the seat by pulling on this handle here, and then grabbing here and pulling hard out and removing the seat. And the cool thing is that um, uh, this, this one here has a... Um, uh, you got a 50-50 bench, so you can do one side and not the other should you need the seating capacity on this side, or you can remove them both altogether. You got a cigarette lighter adapter here for your chargers. To close the tailgate, you can simply just press here, or you can pre uh, close the, uh, press on the remote, or you can use the switch on the overhead console there that I showed you earlier. All right, so once you tumble the seat forward like that, to put it down is very simple. You just push down on it, lift up here, and you're back into passenger mode, okay? Uh, let me give you another look at the headliner so you can see that it's in great shape. No cuts, no tears, no burn holes, no stains. Right rear door panel, same way, all beige with the wood trimming. Of course, we got the child lock protection on this side as well. These seats here have, um, they have anchors for your baby car seat, so you can put your baby car seat on either side. Let's come around to the passenger front. After that, we'll conclude the video. Right front door panel, same way. Like I said before, you got power seat, power clean, and lumbar support not only on the driver's side, but also on the passenger side. All right, uh, before we conclude the video, I want to talk to you about financing. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even get some programs for really rough credit. If you live a long distance away, you're concerned about the financing, or you simply want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Right on the home page, you'll see a tab up at the top that says Apply for Credit. Click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at 
vehiclemax.net.